Hi, my Kayla crew. Welcome back. So today I've got a Natalie attired collection to share with you. Look, it's a pretty big bag. There are some fun fall styles in here. Yeah, I cut the bag open. You know me. I can't help it. <laughs> it's who I am and I'm probably not going to change. But anyway, so with the classic collection, you pay a $20 styling fee that does get credited to anything in your bag that you keep. Um, with Natalie Attired, what I really like is their discount system. So if you keep three or four pieces, you're going to get 20% off. And if you keep all five, you get 30%, which is a pretty deep discount, right? So let's dig in and see what they sent me this time. I think there's some promising pieces. So, and I have a top that I got last month, but in a different color. So last month, the top, it was so pretty. It was a dusty rose. I would call it a dusty rose colored top. And gaping issues didn't fit they sent me a black top in a different size a size up and i'm hoping that it fixes the gaping issue we will see because it's a really pretty top all right enough of me talking let's dig into the bag all right i had to try this black top first this one is by zenobia it's the three quarter sleeve v-neck button top 49 dollars and okay it's a 2x so she did size me up from the last time and what am I missing? The fabric. It is 100% polyester. The lining is also 100% polyester. So I wanted to back up so you could see. I think this top is so cute. I love the style of it. I love that it buttons all the way down. And I do still have a bit of gaping between the first and the second button. But it's very a tiny a bit of gaping. So I could fix that easily with a couple of stitches. I'm willing to do that if I like the rest of the top. So we'll see. Um, it does have like the slightest peplum detail here at the bottom as well. I'm going to come closer so you could see the details of this top. Okay, let me move my hair. Um, I do like the ruffle. It has like the slightest ruffle. Ooh, what is this? Those darn hanger tags, huh? Let me hide it for you. <laughs> Um, it does have the ruffle detail around the neckline. And then can you see like kind of the crochet detail too that goes down each side of the top, but it curves because I'm busty. So yeah, I don't know if that's a good look, but when I'm far away, I don't think you could tell. And then it has a Swiss dot pattern throughout. I like that the sleeves are sheer. And then on the sleeves, it has the same crochet detail all the way around, just like it has here um, on the top. Did I miss anything? Oh, it ties too. See, yeah, you can see a little bit of gaping, but I could easily fix that. See, I could do a couple stitches and you would never know. Yep. Um, I might cut the tie off too. I don't know. I think it's a cute top. Let me know what you think about it. Is it worth me? You know, I don't mind doing a bit of altering. I don't. Um, as long as it's not too much, which this isn't, is it worth it? I think it's a really cute top. It's very unique. It'll go with a lot too. I have these pants on. They sent me these pants are nice. We'll talk about those in a second. Let me show you the back of this top. So I like it a lot. I really do. I think it's unique. And then the bottom does split. So I mean, I don't think it's a bad look. All right. Let me turn the camera down. We'll talk about the pants. Hang on. All right. So these pants are by Wax Jeans. They are the Twill Skinny Pants. They are $42. So not a bad price. And you know, I've been looking to add colored denim to my wardrobe. Yeah, I just tucked this under a bit so we could see the pants. Um, they do have more of a high rise, which I do like. Let's see, pockets, yep. They have pockets in the front, pockets in the back. You know, I think the color is really pretty too. It almost reads as more of a purple to me. What do you think? I like them a lot. So they did come to me cuffed. And I think you could uncuff them, but you know, since I'm short, <laughs> these work for me cuffed. So I do like them. Let me know what you think about them. So it looks nice with this black top that I'm wearing. And I think they sent me another blouse that'll look nice with. So I'm going to try that, but let me turn the camera back up because I'm going to show you what the outfit looks like with some black booties. So hang on. Okay. So here's the look with just some black booties. Now I think it's a cute look. But you know what? Sit down. Are you ready? Are you sitting? I don't own a pair of leopard booties. I know. Are you surprised? I hope you were sitting down. <laughs> but I think that the black top with the burgundy pants, I'm going to call them burgundy for now, but they do have more of a purple tone. But anyway, um, I think it would look cute with leopard print booties too. But what do you think? I would wear it like this too. Grab a black bag and you're ready to go or a leopard print bag. And you know what, ladies? I don't own a leopard print bag either. 
Yikes, I gotta step up my game with my animal print accessories. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back and we'll talk about, I think, a new outfit. I think it's time for that, so hang on. Okay, so next blouse is by Zenobia as well. It's the three-quarter sleeve v-neck floral top. It is $46. You know, I don't think this is three-quarter sleeves, but we'll talk about that. Oh, what am I missing? Fabric, 97% polyester, 3% spandex. Let's talk through this top. I do like the neckline a lot, but although, there we go. I was just, well, it kind of is laying a little funny, huh? Oh, there we go. Just had to adjust it a little bit. I do like the floral print as well. I like the colors in the floral print. And I like the length of this top a lot. You could wear it with leggings too, because it'll give you some coverage. I'll show you the back in a second. Um, does have a bit of a rounded hemline. This will be a good work blouse. And you know what I'm thinking? I may try this after with, see the green and the, the leaves? I may try to put this on with my olive green jeans to see what it looks like. I think it looks nice with this color, but I think it looks pretty with olive too. So I may try to do that. So stay tuned. Uh, what do you think? Hmm. I don't think these sleeves are, they're not, I mean, I guess, are they three quarter length? Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. There's a button. Oh, here we go. It's a tab sleeve top. So it buttons, let's see. Put it right through. I don't know, I don't mind tab sleeves, the roll tab sleeves. There we go. So then it would be more of a three quarter. But do you like it down better? I'll keep one up and one down and you can let me know. <laughs> All right, now, it also, I don't know if you could see, it has the tiniest little uh, string here, and it tied in the back. Well, at least that's how it came, so I kept it tied in the back. I'm sure you could tie it in the front, too. I'd probably just remove the tie. I don't know if I'd keep the tie. I'm going to show you so you can see what it looks like. Then we're going to tear it out and see what it looks like without it, because you could really make it a little bit more defined at the waist if you wanted to, but a belt would do the same thing. So let me show you the back. Sometimes I'm just like, why would like the clothing manufacturers put <laughs> the designers, why, like why they do one thing and it's like, why? <laughs> it was fine without it. I'm gonna pull it right out. I sure am. I'll put it back in if I'm not keeping it. Don't worry. Hang on. Oh, now, yeah, it was stuck. I, yeah, I think it looks better without. I know you really couldn't see it, but you feel it there. So I would take it out. I'm not gonna take this side out. I'll just. You just ignore this string hanging down. <laughs> but that's what it looks like out. Let me show you the back of it without the string. So yeah, I totally keep it out. I think it's a nice work blouse. So let me know what you think about it. And stay tuned because I may show you with the olive green jeans after. But you know what? My booties are right here. Let me grab the black booties and see what it does to the outfit. So hang on. Okay, cute with the black booties too. Yeah, I think it's a cute outfit. I really do. Putting on shoes makes all the difference in the world. So I'm gonna try to do that more often just to see how things look. But okay, now I'm gonna move on. I have a jacket and I don't know what I wanna pair the jacket with, so I'm gonna try to do that. So hang tight. Okay, so this next top has a lot going on with it and I don't know if I like it. We're gonna talk about it. Yeah, totally different and I don't know. Although I am gonna try it on with my gray jeans because there is some gray, well, that's more of like a, it's more like a lilac. Let's talk about the top first and then we'll think about if I wanna pull my gray jeans or not. So this top is by the brand Lovely. It's the long sleeve V-neck leopard top, $46, uh, extra large. It's a poly rayon spandex blend. Now, let's start from the top since there's so much going on. I don't care for the button detail here. You know, I don't mind it. I'm gonna come closer so you could see it. I don't mind when there's clothing that has button details. Like sometimes on the shoulder area, you'll see really cute tops that have the button detail or even like on the wrist area. I just feel like it's awkwardly placed. You know what I mean? I do like the print, you know that, but, and I like the balloon sleeves. It has a very slight balloon sleeve to it. What do you think? There's a lot of colors. There's just too much going on. And then one thing that's really bothering me too, and I know that some of you are gonna be like, Kelly, you're crazy. When I turn around, the colors don't match up from front to back. And I think it's done purposely where it's, it's I think it's supposed to be a fun top, you know? But I, I don't know, it bothers me. Let me show you. You see what I'm 
talking about. So like the pink is not here. It's a different color. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this top. It's different. It's more of a casual, cozy top. It's very soft. But I just don't, yeah, I don't think it's me. I can't see myself pulling for it. And that's, I just don't get this. <laughs> I don't. It's not, it's not, no, I don't think it's cute. All right. I don't think I'm going to put my gray, gray jeans because I don't think this is a top I'm going to keep. All right. Maybe I will. I'll show you guys what it looks like with my gray jeans. So hold on. All right. So here it is with my gray jeans. Now I do think my gray jeans are a bit too light for this top, but it doesn't change my mind on this top. I, I wouldn't pull for it. These buttons are driving me crazy and I don't know why. Nope. I can't feel them or anything. I'm just looking at them and I'm like, Ooh, I don't like them. <laughs> but here it is with my gray jeans. All right, I'll be right back. I've got that jacket, so I'll hang tight. Okay, we're gonna get two things done at once. So I wanted to show you, I put the top on with my green, my olive green jeans. I think it looks cute with the olive green bottoms. I really do. Now, I would also, hang on. I brought a vest down. You guys remember this vest? My faux fur vest from White House Black Market. So, you could also, dress it up a bit. Mm -hmm. I think it's cute. Put on those black booties again and you got a cute outfit. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the jacket. I don't think the jacket is a keeper for me. I know I'm going back and forth. I'm sorry. So the jacket is by, let's see, hang on. It's by Kika Paprika and it's the Valerie coat in burgundy. Let's see size. Hmm. Hang on. Okay, the fabric is 95% organic cotton and 5% spandex. Is the size, I don't see a size on here though. Let me see. Where, hmm, I don't, extra large, okay. So I do like the color of it a lot. I haven't tried it on yet. It is a hooded jacket. It almost feels like a hooded, like I wanna call it a cardigan instead of a jacket. What do you think? All right, let's try it on together. I don't know. Hmm. Should we button it to see? The sleeves are a bit long. The sleeves almost have an unfinished, like, hem look. Doesn't it look like that? It actually looks like the all the way down. Let's button it up. I don't think this is a Kayla coat. I don't, I don't know. I don't really feel like it's me. Let me show you the buttons. I do like the buttons. I think they're really pretty. No, I wouldn't wear buttons. No. Yeah, I don't think this is me. I do like the color of it a lot. I'm not gonna button all the way down. See, it kind of has that detail around the, um, I almost called my waist, my wrist. <laughs> What's wrong with me? It does have pockets too, which is nice. I'm just not wowed by it. No, I don't think it does much for me. I could be wrong, but I just don't know when I'd pull for it. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. What do you think? I think if I kept it, I'd wear it open, but I don't think I'm going to keep it. What was the price? Let's see. $79. Hmm. I don't like it $79 worth. Yeah. I don't know. Let me show you the back of it. I do like the length. I like that it gives you coverage, but it's just not me. Okay. I'll be right back and we're going to do a recap. Okay. We've got two definite no's. Can you guess what they are? Leopard print. I know. No, I'm not having leopard print burnout, Linda. <laughs> This one is just, nope, I wouldn't pull for it. I mean, it might be fun on the right person, just like this jacket. You know, while I thought the color was pretty, the buttons are nice, I wouldn't pull for it. So I'm going to send that one back too. I just don't know when I would wear it. Okay. I think I have three keepers and I think I kept three last time. So the black blouse, I think it's so pretty. What do you think? And although there was a little bit of gaping between the first and second buttons, I can fix that easily with like two stitches, maybe three. Yeah, I can fix that. So I think I'm gonna end up keeping this black blouse. I think it's a pretty work blouse. So yeah, I like that. And I think I, I'm gonna keep this 
this one too. I like the floral print. I like that it's a little bit longer of a blouse. I like that I could wear it with different colored bottoms, vests even, like I showed you. So yeah, I think this one's gonna be a keeper. I really like this one. Now, I didn't mention this, but this is more, and I don't know if you could see it as I bring it closer. It's more of a crepey. Yeah, can you see that? It's more of a crepey polyester. So I think I'm gonna keep that. And I like the color of these pants a lot. I really do. I have a pair of burgundy jeans, but they're not as purple as this. So I think, yeah, I think these are going to be keepers too. And I feel like as well, whenever I get a pair of pants that fits me perfectly, I know these were cuffed, but oh, I forgot to, you can uncuff them. But for me, cuffed, yeah, perfect because it works for my height. So as I was saying, if I get a pair of jeans that fit me perfectly and the length is good, I feel like I have to hang on to them. Yeah. At least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> all right, so thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.